So today is another first impressions video and we are taking a look at fill out. Now I've been using form builders for as long as I can remember, at least for the last six, seven years, going back to things like SurveyMonkey, Wufu, and of course the more modern versions like Typeform, Jotform, although Jotform has been around for a very long time. So yeah, today we're taking a look at fill out. It's a new kid on the block with some cool features that I really want to explore. Now, hand on heart, I've never used it before. And now we've got the ability to actually explore it. And yeah, all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to log in and I'm going to see what I can achieve in a very short period of time. My main objective is to see how quickly I can build a form, how quickly can I connect it to things like Airtable, and what's the experience like? Do I like it? What are things that I would change? Are there any cool features that I haven't seen in other form builders in the past? So if you're new here, hi, my name is Alex. And what we do here on the channel is, yeah, talk about low code and test out a bunch of different systems, including fill out. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we are. This is fillout.com. I'm just gonna log in very quickly and uh, we're gonna begin exploring this. Awesome. So I've just logged in and this is what I'm greeted with. I'm a little bit puzzled that we initially just get this particular thing, that we get this Apple-esque uh, sort of, you know, blurry background sort of thing, but I like the fact that they are straight, you know, get, let's get down to business. But I don't want to do that. I want to have the full experience. So I'm just going to click on that little house thing that we just saw. And yeah, I can see I've got my workspaces. I've got my settings down here for my account. Very nice. I can see that I haven't got any forms yet. Forms, quizzes. All right, cool. I can do quizzes. Nice. And of course, I have workspaces over here for marketing. All right, fair play. And I've got new form there, new form there. Cool. Let's begin a new form. And now I've got that screen back up. So forms with popular integrations, templates. Let's take a look at the, at the templates. Let's see what it kind of looks like. Um, all right. So it's really reminiscent of type form uh, in some areas like, you know, this button where it says start, that sort of thing. That's really type for me. But yeah, let's just begin from scratch and see what that experience is like. So blank form, create with AI. Great. So we have some of our themes. Eco-friendly. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, okay. So it's like a little bit green. Anyway, so I'll just start with plain, create a form, my form, test form. Cool. So one of the things that I'm kind of always looking for when I'm dealing with form builders is like the amount of widgets that you can get. And I can see here that we've got just a bunch of them. Wait, let me see if something stands out. Choice matrix, that's nice. That's a nice thing to have. Not all form builders have this and it's really useful. Date, time, ranking, that's cool. Location coordinates. I wonder if that is, that is a really cool feature because form builders typically struggle with capturing your location. And I wonder if this actually works really nicely, but the fact that they actually have it right there probably means that it does work really well. In the past, we've had a bunch of clients who needed something like this, where their employees are in the field and they want to quickly gauge their location and understand where that employee is. It's fantastic if this actually works well and accurately. You know what? There's not a ton. I kind of expected more. Like if you take a look at all the widgets and all the things that you can do with Jotform, like Jotform has got a bunch of things. So you can just scroll for days. It's kind of cool. We've got signature file uploader. I wonder what the limits of the file uploader is because typically they have limits change field settings here get started oh that is really nice that is very very cool max file size one gigabyte and you can upgrade to five gigabyte five uploads this is excellent because you can just have this form and embed it on some kind of website or portal where you don't necessarily need people to log in and you can just ask them their name ask them their email and get them to upload big files all at once, which has been typically, you know, difficult to do. But 
this is a really, really nice thing to be able to do to upgrade to five gigabytes. Okay, there is a limit to five file size. That's kind of cool. Half width. Okay, fine. That's nice. Logic hide always and you can do conditional logic which is kind of cool all right fine limit file types this is fantastic especially if you're like a college professor and you want to and you want your students to quickly upload just text files or just pdfs this is excellent to be able to limit that validation kind of nice all right i like it this is nice i wonder if it does calculations things like job form have got this ability where you can input a number somewhere then you can have it calculate a particular price so you can like choose a product which is a question somewhere in the beginning i want product a then you have another question how many do you want of that product let's say i want five and then there is another question which says okay the price for that product is 20 times 5 and just spits out the total. Another thing that you can kind of do in job form fairly easily. I wonder if this is doable here. What is this? Add reference. Cal Ooh, calculations. Okay. Continue. No calculations. Create a calculation. There we go. So yeah, it seems like you can do it. I love it. This is great. I'm going to pause the video for a little bit. I'm going to build out a quick form. And then we're going to take a look at how easy or hard it is to get the data to flow into Airtable. All right, so I'm almost done with the build out of my form. I'm just adding the last question in about the role of this person. So yeah, I'm just going to edit my options. So let's say I'm admin or user. We have an other option, half width, full value. Okay, so that all looks great. I can also play around with my theme. Let's edit this. Maybe I want to have some kind of different font google fonts which is nice and i can also add custom fonts so i'm just gonna use montserrat i love montserrat yeah this does change the font on the whole theme i basically have got my form ready in its most basic form of course i think one thing that i'm missing is map view and again location coordinates i get it but one thing that i feel like I want and I don't want to bash on this but I'm not sure if I'm missing something but I would want to have some kind of a field where I can drop a pin on a map and say ah it's here because one of the biggest use cases for forms in this day and age uh, or at least the one that we see most often is for people on the ground people who don't have the time to open up their laptop and just log into some portal and do stuff like that they are on their phone they're on the run let's say they want to point out which area like geographic area they've actually done work on and they want to drop a pin on that specific area and they're doing it at the end of the day when they're driving back or when they have a little bit of time so that's one thing that's kind of missing right now i feel other than that let's jump in and integrate this with Airtable. so we have our integrations tab, from what I can tell. There's plenty of things that you can integrate with. There is dedicated Zapier thing going on. There is popular apps like Make. Databases. So one thing that I really dislike about Jodform, it's how it connects to Airtable directly. It's crap. And the same thing for Typeform. Timeform is probably even worse because the moment you make your fields in your database have to directly align with the fields of your form. So in other words, if I have a multiple select field in my form, I have to have the equivalent multiple select with the exact same options in Airtable, which is nuts. Let's see how easy or hard this is. How many restrictions do we have here? So I'm just gonna connect to Airtable. A few moments later. All right, so I've connected my base. I've also opened it up with, we are basically waiting for submissions here. I haven't set up any fields, so I wanna see how it's gonna react to what is there. Yeah, I just need to select a base, stop tracking demo, table, submissions. Let's say I change this to submissions, fill out. Let's see how quickly I'm gonna be able to refresh the schema. This is very handy, so let's see. It's gonna change it if it's gonna react. Yep, that's cool. Continue, create a record or update a record. This is nice. 
Prefetch records. Okay, that's nice. That's kind of cool. Very cool. Advanced prevent duplicates. Mappings. Yeah. So let's see how mapping goes. Notes. Pick a reference. Ah, okay. There we go. I, I, I get it now. So these are some generic high level fields that I can use. But also if I want to use the actual stuff that I filled in, I can use the page. So first name, can I use more than one? No. Okay, so I can't really do mapping in the classical, well, not classical, but in the sort of Zapier make way. So that's a little bit annoying. But let's see how it deals with new fields. So I'm just going to clear all my fields. I'm going to say first name, last name, email. What else did we have in terms of fields? Phone role. Okay, phone and roll. Okay, let's see if it's going to give us a hard time. So Airtable fields, I've got a bunch of new fields here. I'm going to refresh. Boom, new fields. Awesome. I like that. Page, first name. That's nice. Last name. That's a little bit annoying. Like, okay, well, actually, is it? So last name, last name. So this is actually a good thing. If I remember correctly in JotForm, once you've mapped a field or is it Typeform? I'm not sure, one of the two. Once you've mapped a field, like we've done here, first name, last name, you can't remap those fields somewhere else. This is better. Although when you have like 50, 60 questions on a form, you do wanna have that, did I map everything? Did I not map everything? You get that little question in your mind, but. I, I kind of like it. Name. There's a name. All right. So, oh, these are these are the Airtable fields. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, phone map to phone, role map to role, and and yeah, that's it. I'm not gonna map map out anything else. Just simple stuff. Finish setup. Excellent. Can I edit this connection? Yes, I can. And everything's there. What is this little button? Only run integration when conditions are met. This is really nice because usually the vast majority of these connectors, especially in type form, if I remember correctly, it's just like a connection. You set it up and it's always working. You're always going to get data. So it's nice that they put this logic button at this point, at this juncture. It makes my life a little bit easier. It's a really nice thing to have. Not make or break um, the vast majority of the time we personally hook this up to make.com and have way more control but it's it's fine share publish form form is published and you get the confettis copy the form paste it in let's fill this out test test to alex at example.com it would be nice if it picked the right country from the get-go, role, user, let's say we allow, okay. So yeah, we get latitude, longitude, cool, submitted. And here's our submission, very nice. Oh, wait, where's the email? Did I not fill this out? I did, did I not map it? Probably forgot to map. So let's go back to integrations, edit. Yes, I forgot to map it. <laughs> cool, email, page, email. Update. Let's do another uh, submission and let's see how that goes. And submit. Beautiful. Very nice. Wait, hold on. Where is my email? Did I not just map it? What's going on? Let me just check this out again. Yes, email is there. Email is email. It's updated. Oh, I see. I see what's going on. So I have a feeling that as soon as you update all of this stuff, probably your share link changes. I wonder. Oh, I have to publish my changes. Okay. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. So published my changes. Now it should bring this in. Let's do one final test. And now, yeah, that's it. So I just have to publish my changes. So that's it guys, these were my first impressions of Fillout. I am actually fairly impressed by how clean the design is. It reminds me of like Apple 
experience a little bit. Everything's very clean, somewhat flat. The choice of fields is good enough for about 95% of people. I'm happy with how their integration with Airtable works. It's actually usable compared to other integrations that we've seen. I think we're gonna most likely switch this out for our go-to form builder which is which has been job form for many years i think we're gonna start using this more and more and more for our client projects that's basically it i think i'm sold let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and i'll um see what else we can do on my radar i have another video for fill out and that is to see how their api works if we can create forms dynamically through the API and what that experience is like. That's basically it. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.